This video will take you through the six steps you'll need to set up an efficient and scalable training data pipeline in V7. First, let's create a new dataset in V7. Datasets are the highest level of folder structure that V7 offers and can be assigned to a distinct workflow which will determine how each of the files that are added to the dataset will go from raw and annotated data to ground truth. Next, import your data. Check out the video in the description for a detailed breakdown of the different methods you can use to import data. But to cover them quickly, you can use the command line interface, SDK, API, or UI to import files. Those files can simply be imported from local storage or from an external storage location using our integrations with AWS S3, GCP, Asia Blob Storage, and min.io. Now it's time to add the annotation classes that your project will require. V7 offers polygons, bounding boxes, key point skeletons, tags, and a handful of other specialized class types which can be added to one or more datasets. You can also add an extra information layer for each class by adding sub-annotations such as attributes, instance IDs, and text. Now our datasets workflow will determine how each file is handled from import to the moment it's finally marked as complete. Our basic workflow contains an annotate, review, and complete stage. With this basic workflow, we can assign classes to specific annotators in the annotate stage, have those files reviewed and either approved or rejected with feedback by reviewers. The basic workflow already adds a lot of value, but we're working in AI, so let's add some automation. Let's add a sample stage to send 10% of files to a secondary reviewer and a logic stage that sends all files labeled with an edge case tag to a webhook stage, which will trigger a Slack notification to alert the team when edge cases are detected. Now we can prepare your workforce. Add a set of instructions in the settings page of your dataset, which includes screenshots of examples and Loom video walkthroughs for your team. For best practice advice on writing annotation guidelines, check out the playbook in the video description. But if you need to quickly spin up a workforce of trained V7 labelers, or would like to bolster your own team's labeling capacity, reach out to the V7 team and use V7's labeling service. You can submit a request for a sample in the link in the video description. Finally, as your team labels more data, you'll be able to train increasingly accurate models in V7's model page, which can then be incorporated back into your workflow using the model stage. V7 also offers the ability to register your own model into the model stage or import your model's inference using the SDK. Again, check out the links in the description for more information on all the ways you can add models to your pipeline and reduce the amount of manual effort involved in generating high accuracy datasets. And that's it. Reuse the same steps above for each new model you train and let V7 help you scale your training data operations.